Did you know that you can switch between your phone and your current PC stream in a matter of seconds without even ending your stream? It is super simple. I found a tool that works perfectly fine. Let me show you how to set it up. If you guys don't already know, my name is Agent. I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Link is down in the description below if you do want to check me out. Now, how do we install this plugin and how does it actually work? Well, it's super simple. All we need to do is install the DroidCam OBS plugin on our OBS install it and then we just need to download an app on the phone open the app and it literally switches to the phone instantly all you have to do is be on the same wi-fi and that is pretty much it let me show you how it works so all you have to do is go to the website called DroidCam obs i will link it down in the description below it's from this dev 47 apps developer they did a great job with the plugin i tested it out i did it on my stream it works really really good so as you can see right here all you need is the DroidCam OBS app plus plugin, and then you can connect your phone and get high quality audio and video, just like uh, a regular camera source. And you can connect as many devices as you want over Wi-Fi or USB, which is really, really good. Again, this video is not sponsored by them, not sponsored at all. I'm just showing a great plugin that I found out not too long ago. Keep it in mind, if you do install the free version of the app, it will have the watermark in the corner. It's pretty small, it won't even notice it, but if you, uh, you know one upgrade you can get the paid version and that way you can remove the watermark so what we need to do is go to this website scroll down and download the obs plugin first so if you're using the obs uh you know the older obs you can download the older obs version if you're using the newest 28 click on 28 and then download for windows and then run the installer and go next 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 like the usual obs plugins you already know then what we need to do is download the app so you go a little bit up and then it says get the app right here you can you can download it on the uh apple or the android right here so if you click on the android it opens up this the droid cam obs so this is the app you will need to download on your phone and install it again it has 1 million plus downloads 4.2 reviews so you know it's legit you know it works download it install it and then i'll show you how to set it up now that we are in the obs right here all we have to do is go to sources wherever your scene is go to sources click on the plus and then click on droid cam obs once you click on that click ok and it will create the source right there we'll make it 1920 by 1080 and then we will also make it you know keep all this default use wi-fi ip which is going to be on the same wi-fi as our you know phone so that's fine and then click on OK. All right, so now that we added our source into the OBS right here, all we have to do is open up our app on the phone, which is the DroidCam OBS app. You will just have to give it the permission. So go next, next, you know, give it all the permissions and then it will show you the Wi-Fi IP and the DroidCam port. What you can do is you can refresh the device list and then it will show up in the devices sometimes. Most of the time that doesn't work. So under the Wi-Fi IP, put the same IP as it shows in the uh, phone right here. So I'll just put this over here, 168, 100 times uh, dot 40. And if I click activate, it will connect to my phone. And you can see right here that it works. The whole thing works. Uh, if I test it out right there, you can see it. I'll make this full screen. So right here, you can see my whole setup. You can see my keyboard. You can see absolutely everything. But as you can notice, there is the, uh, you know, the, the actual watermark on the screen, which sucks. But, you know, you can remove it with the pro version if you would like to. So that's how you can set up your DroidCam OBS. There's a lot of stuff you can do on the phone as well. If you click on the, you know, the switch uh, cameras uh, screen as well, you can switch cameras front back camera whatever you would like to do all of that is available so as i said check the app out there's a lot of different things you can do but it's super simple to set up it takes you about one minute to do it all you have to do is install the obs plugin and then you install the phone app you run it you click activate and boom it works so whenever you want to show something to your stream uh with your phone activate boom show it right there turn it off and you're done Again, you can pay for the pro version if you would like to. I have the free version. I don't need the pro version, but if you do, you can always set it up. If you guys did like the video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Link is down in the description below. Anyway, 
I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.